Luka Modric was born on September 9, 1985 and was raised in the hamlet of Madrasai, which is a part of Zadanobrovatsky, a village situated on the southern slopes of the mountain Velebit, north of the city of Zadar and SR Croatia, then a republic within SFR Yugoslavia. He is the oldest child of Stipe Modric from Madrasai and Radosh Gradopu from Khrushchevo near Abravitz, both of whom initially worked in a knitwear factory. Modric mostly spent his early years in the stone house of his paternal grandfather after whom he was named, located on the road above the hamlet of Madrasai, and was shepherding goats as a five-year-old. However, his childhood coincided with the Croatian War of Independence, in 1991, when the war escalated, his family were forced to flee the area. Modric's grandfather Luka was executed by Serb rebels who were part of the police of Salkrina in December 1991 near his house in Madrasai, and after the family fled, the house was burned to the ground. Modric became a refugee and lived with his family in the Hotel Kolovar for seven years, he later moved to the Hotel Is, both in Zadar. His father joined the Croatian army as an aero mechanic. In those years, thousands of bombs fell on the city and football was a way to escape the reality of war. He recalls it as a tough time for his family and something which shaped him as a person. He also said he was mostly unaware of the war because he befriended many other children and their parents did not let it affect their childhood. In these difficult circumstances, Modric began playing football, mostly at the hotel parking lot. In 1992, he simultaneously entered the primary school in a sporting academy, the latter paid for with the little money the family had, sometimes helped by Modric's uncle. As a boy he was inspired to play football by Zvonimir Boban and Francesco Totti. Supported by his family, he participated in representative camps and trained in NK Zadar. He was under tutelage of coach Domagaj Basic and the head of the youth academy, Tomislav Basic. Tomislav Basic, considered by Modric as his sporting father, said Modric's father made him wooden shin guards because they had little money. However, Modric later denied this story. Due to being considered too young and light, he was not signed by Croatian powerhouse Hajduk Split the most representative football club in the region of Dalmatia. After displaying some talent, including at a youth tournament in Italy, Tomislav Basic arranged Modric's move to Dinamo Zagreb when Modric was a 16-year-old in late 2001. After a season with Dinamo Zagreb's youth side, Modric was loaned in 2003 to Zrinski Mostar in the Bosnian Premier League. During this period, he established his versatile style of play and became the Bosnian Premier League Player of the Year at only the age of 18. Modric later said, someone who can play in the Bosnian Premier League can play anywhere, referring to its physical nature. The following year, he was loaned to Croatian side in Terzaprizic. He spent one season there, helping the team to achieve second position in the Perva HNL and a place in the preliminary round of the UEFA Cup. He also won the Croatian Football Hope of the Year award in 2004. He returned to Dinamo Zagreb in 2005. In the 2005-06 season, Modric signed a 10-year contract, his first long-term contract, with Dinamo Zagreb. With the contract's earnings, he bought a flat in Zadar for his family. He secured a place in Dinamo's first team, contributing 7 goals and 31 matches to help win the league. In the 2006-07 season, Dinamo again won the league, with Modric making a similar contribution. He was the main provider for striker Eduardo, which helped Modric win the Perva HNL Player of the Year award. The following season, Modric as a team captain, led Dinamo's attempt to qualify for the 2007-08 UEFA Cup. In the final playoff stage, Modric converted a penalty in the second and away fixture against Ajax, the match finished 1-1 after regular time. Dinamo won the match in playoff with a score of 3-2 after extra time with two goals from teammate Mario Mandzukic. However, Dinamo Zagreb failed to advance beyond the group stage. In his last home match with the club at Miksimir Stadium, Modric was given a standing ovation and fans held up supportive banners. He finished his four-year tenure at Dinamo with a tally of over 31 goals and 29 assists in four league seasons, 
contributing most notably in the 2007-08 season when Dinamo won the second Croatian Cup and became champions by a 28-point margin. Modric was courted by Barcelona, Arsenal, and Chelsea, but opted to wait leaving the club. 2008-10, Struggle and Success in England Modric agreed to transfer terms with Tottenham Hotspur on April 26, 2008. He was the first of many summer signings for manager Juan Ramos, and was also the Premier League's first summer transfer. Club chairman Daniel Levy promptly flew to Zagreb when Manchester City and Newcastle United became interested, and after signing a six-year contract, Tottenham confirmed the transfer fee paid was £16.5 million, equaling the club's record fee set by Darren Bent's move in 2007. He got the number 14 jersey, later recalling that he wore it in honor of Johan Cruyff. Modric made his competitive Premier League debut on 16th of August in a 2-1 defeat to Middlesbrough at the Riverside Stadium in Spurs' first match of the 2008-09 season. Modric had a slow start at Tottenham. He suffered from a knee injury early in his tenure and was labeled as a lightweight for the Premier League by sections of the media, as well as Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger. Reflecting on that, Modric said that such critics push you forward to show people they are wrong. Maybe I look lightweight but I am a really strong person mentally and physically, and I never had any problems with my size. This coincided with his poor form, leading to concerns both for himself and Croatian national team head coach Slaven Bilic. Modric spent his early days at the number 10 position, before being shifted to the left wing to play alongside Wilson Palacios. Spurs teammate Tom Huddlestone later said, his versatility was probably a blessing and a curse, he was that good that he had to play out of position for a bit. After the appointment of manager Harry Redknapp, Modric was given a more familiar role as a central or left-sided midfielder, allowing him to have more influence on the team and use his footballing talent more productively, for example in a 4-4 draw with arch-rivals Arsenal on 29th of October. Redknapp recognized Modric's value to his side and planned to shape his new team around the Croatian playmaker. He scored his first competitive goal at Tottenham in a 2-2 draw against Spartak Moscow during the UEFA Cup group stages on December 18, 2008. He scored his first Premier League goals against Newcastle United in an away defeat on 21 December, a home win in the third round of the FA Cup against Wigan Athletic on January 2, 2009, and in an away defeat against Manchester United on April 25, 2009. Using Modric in his former position from his Dinamo days made him more effective with performances against Stoke City, Hull City, and most notably on 21st of March when he scored the only goal in a win against Chelsea. Before the 2009-10 season, Redknapp said of Modric, he's a hell of a player and a manager's dream, so I am told. He trains like a demon and never complains, will work with him without the ball on the field and can beat a defender with a trick or with a pass. He could get into any team in the top four. On August 29, 2009, during Tottenham's 2-1 win over Birmingham City, Modric was taken off injured with a suspected calf injury. The following day, it was confirmed Modric had sustained a fracture to his right fibula and was expected to be out for six weeks. He returned on 28th of December in the London Derby against West Ham United, which Spurs won 2-0 with an 11th minute goal scored by Modric using the leg he had broken. He again scored in a home win against Everton on February 28, 2010, and in an away defeat against Burnley on 9th of May. On May 30, 2010, Modric signed a new six-year contract that ran until 2016. Upon signing, he said, Tottenham Hotspur gave me my chance in the Premier League and I want to go on to achieve great success here with them. Yes, there have been inquiries from other big clubs, but I have no interest in going anywhere. Last season's top 4 finish was an indication of where we are as a club and I feel I can continue to improve and go on to achieve everything I want to at Spurs. On September 11, 2010, Modric scored his first goal of the 2010-11 season in a 1-1 away draw at West Bromwich Albion. On 28th of November, in a home match against Liverpool, Modric scored a goal that was later credited as an own goal by Martin Skirtiel. 
After a draw against Manchester United at White Hart Lane in January 2011, Redknapp praised Modric, saying, he was unbelievable. Magnificent. He's an amazing footballer, the little man takes the ball in the tightest areas with people around him, wriggling out of situations. He could play in any team in the world. Modric also scored in Tottenham's 3-2 victory over Stoke City on 9th of April and converted a penalty at Anfield on 15th of May in a 2-0 victory over Liverpool. Modric helped Tottenham reach their first involvement in the UEFA Champions League. In the first match, against Inter Milan at the San Siro on 20th of October, he exited the match early due to injury, Spurs lost 4-3, despite the tremendous efforts of Gareth Bale. On the return match at home, on 2nd of November, Modric was given too much space to move and dictate the tempo of the match. He created and assisted for the first goal by Raphael van der Vaart in a 3-1 victory. In the next match, against Werder Bremen, Modric scored the second goal. After a scoreless draw against Milan, Spurs were eliminated from the competition in the quarterfinals by Real Madrid. Modric played 32 Premier League matches in the 2010-11 season, scoring three goals, recording two assists and making the highest average number of passes per match for Spurs was 62.5 and an accuracy rate of 87.4%. At the end of the season, Modric was voted the Tottenham Hotspur Player of the Year. Then Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson said he would have chosen Modric as his Player of the Year for that season. On August 27, 2012, Real Madrid announced they had agreed on a deal with Tottenham for an approximate £30 million transfer fee. Modric signed a five-year contract with the Spanish club. I think he's the most, one of the most complete midfielders in the world. He has a fantastic pace, he has a vision for the game that is amazing and uh, the ball handling is amazing. I played against him, me and my mother being from Croatia, he's Croatian, so I'm happy. It's part of the blood. Two days later, he made his Real Madrid debut against Barcelona in the second leg final of the 2012 Supercopa de España at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, replacing Mesut Ozil in the 83rd minute. Madrid won the match, giving Modric his first trophy with the club 36 hours after his signing was announced. Despite his positive debut, Modric at first struggled to settle into the team under manager Jose Mourinho because of his lack of preseason training, which he missed as a result of his ongoing transfer negotiations. The presence of veteran midfielders Xavi Alonso and Sami Khedira in defensive midfield, and Urziel in offensive midfield, usually kept Modric out of the starting lineup, limiting him to substitute appearances. He mostly played out of position for his first few months at the club. He played his first UEFA Champions League match for Real Madrid in the group stage against Manchester City on 18th of September, which Madrid won 3-2. On 3rd of November, Modric scored his first goal for Real Madrid in the last minute of their 4-0 victory over Real Saragossa in La Liga. His most notable match the year was on 4th of December, when he assisted for the first two goals of Cristiano Ronaldo and Jose Callejon with crossfield passes in a 4-1 victory over Ajax in the group stage of the Champions League. At the end of the year he was voted as the worst signing of the season by Spanish newspaper Marca. Modric started in Real Madrid's home match against rivals Barcelona on March 2, 2013. From a corner kick, he assisted Sergio Ramos to score the winning goal in the 82nd minute, giving Real a victory in El Clasico. On 5th of March, Modric came on as a second-half substitute during the decisive Champions League knockout leg against 10-man Manchester United at Old Trafford. With Madrid behind by a goal, Modric equalized with a long-range shot from 25 yards, 23 meters, out and played a key role in the rest of the match, which Real Madrid won 2-1, advancing them to the quarterfinals 3-2 on aggregate. This match is often seen as a turning point in Modric's career in Real Madrid. On 16th of March, he replicated his performance against Mallorca, giving Real Madrid the lead with a long-range volley from 30 yards, 27 meters, Real Madrid won the match 5-2. Modric played as a starter in both Champions League semi-final matches against Borussia Dortmund. In the first leg on 24th of April, 
he played in the attacking midfield position where he did not influence the match and the team lost 4-1. On 30th of April, in the second leg 2-0 victory, Modric played as a deep-lying playmaker, making passes to the attackers and creating several chances, he was among the best-rated players that night. From March 2013, Modric's form and influence in the midfield continued to improve, distinguishing himself as a player with most passes completed in his team. On 8th of May, he assisted from the corner for the first goal and scored the fourth goal in a 6-2 victory over Malaga. With the arrival of new manager Carlo Ancelotti, Modric became one of the most frequent starters in the team, being partnered in midfield with Xabi Alonso to provide a balance of defense and attack. He was consistently the team's most efficient passer, averaging 90% accuracy in La Liga, and also having the most ball recoveries among the squad. He scored his first goal of the 2013-14 season in the last Champions League group match against Copenhagen, making it his fifth goal for the club, all five of which were scored from the outside the penalty area. Modric scored his first goal of the Liga season in a 3-0 away win against Hitafe, his sixth goal outside the penalty area. Modric was on the pitch when Real Madrid won the 2013-14 Copa del Rey after defeating Barcelona 2-1 in the final. In the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals, Modric intercepted the ball and assisted Cristiano Ronaldo for the third goal in Real Madrid's 3-0 home victory against Borussia Dortmund. The goal was ultimately decisive because Real went on to lose 2-0 in the second leg, but progressed with a marginal aggregate score of 3-2. In his 100th appearance for the club, Modric assisted for the first goal in the second leg 4-0 victory over Bayern Munich in the Champions League semi-final, helping Real Madrid reach the final for the first time in 12 years. He was included in UEFA's team of the week for both legs of the semi-final. On 24th of May in the final, Modric again assisted from a corner for teammate Sergio Ramos, who scored a 93rd minute equalizer against local rivals Atletico Madrid. Real won 4-1 in extra time, marking the club's 10th Champions League title, locally known as La Decima, the 10th. He was included in the UEFA Champions League team of the season and received the LFB award for the best midfielder of the Spanish First League of that season. In August 2014, Modric signed a new contract to stay at Real Madrid until 2018. With the departure of Alonso he was partnered with newly arrived Tony Kroos. Real Madrid began the 2014-15 season by winning the UEFA Super Cup over Sevilla Modric assisted twice for Bale, first against Real Sociedad in La Liga, and second against Basel in the Champions League. In the 2-0 away win against Villarreal, Modric scored his seventh goal from outside of the box. In late November, Modric sustained a thigh injury during an international match against Italy, because of which he did not play for three months. He returned in early March 2015, starting in seven matches and proving his form. On 21st of April, in the 3-1 home win against Malaga, he strained ligaments in his right knee, because of which he did not play until May. With his injury, Real Madrid's 22-match winning run in the season came to an end. His absence and the lack of a quality substitute were seen as the main cause of Real Madrid's failure to win matches in La Liga and the Champions League. Ancelotti said, Modric has missed most of the year and this has hurt us. Modric's influence was recognized and he was selected by professional players in the FIFA Fifth Pro World Eleven. On October 18, 2016, Modric signed a new contract with Real Madrid, keeping him at the club until 2020. Due to injury of the left knee sustained in mid-September, he missed eight matches, returning early November. On 18th of December, he won the 2016 FIFA Club World Cup with Real Madrid, receiving the silver ball for his performances during the tournament. In January 2017, for the first time was included in the UEFA Team of the Year, 2016. On March 12, 2017, in a 2-1 win over Real Betis, Modric played his 200th match for Real Madrid. Modric was a regular starter when Real Madrid won the 2016-17 La Liga, 
as well as the 2016-17 UEFA Champions League, where he provided the assist for Cristiano Ronaldo's second goal in the final against Juventus. Modric was included in Champions League Team of the Season and became the first Croatian to win the Champions League three times. He also received the UEFA Club Football Award for Best Midfielder of the Champions League season. In the competition for the UEFA Men's Player of the Year Award, he came fourth, while for 2017 Ballon d'Or, fifth. For the third time, he was also included in the FIFA FIFA Pro World Eleven. With the departure of James Rodriguez to Bayern Munich, Modric inherited the team's coveted number 10 jersey for the new 2017-18 season, replacing his previous number 19 jersey. In December, he won the 2017 FIFA Club World Cup with Real Madrid and received the Golden Ball Award as the best player of the competition for his performance. His first goal of the season came in a 7-1 win over Deportivo de la Coruña on January 21, 2018. In the same month was for the second time included in the UEFA Team of the Year, 2017. Modric was a regular starter when Real Madrid won the 2017-18 UEFA Champions League, starting in the final victory against Liverpool which saw Madrid win their third consecutive title. For his performances throughout the campaign, Modric was included in Champions League Team of the Season for the third consecutive time. He later received the UEFA Club Football Award for Best Midfielder of the Champions League season for the second consecutive time. Due to his club, and national team performance at the 2018 FIFA World Cup, where also received the Golden Ball, in August and September Modric won the UEFA Men's Player of the Year Award and the Best FIFA Men's Player Award, while in December, he added the Ballon d'Or to his personal tally marking the first time since 2007 that the award was not won by Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, which polarized the people involved in the sport into two camps about the credibility of the award. Furthermore, besides becoming the first Croatian player to win these awards, Modric was the first player to win both the World Cup Golden Ball and the UEFA Men's Player of the Year award in the same year since Ronaldo in 1998 and the World Cup Golden Ball and the Best FIFA Men's Player of the Year award after Romario in 1994. Additionally, he is the first player to win the awards from the former Yugoslavia territory, the first footballer from Eastern Europe to win a Ballon d'Or after Andrei Shevchenko in 2004, and the 10th player from Real Madrid to capture the trophy. Furthermore, winning the trophy triggered a clause in his contract, ensuring his stay at the club until 2021. He was also included in the FIFA FIFA Pro World Eleven for the fourth time, and won the IFS World's Best Playmaker Award. After receiving the FIFA Men's Player of the Year Award, Modric stated it shows that we all can become the best with hard work, dedication, and belief, all dreams can come true. Modric dedicated the Ballon d'Or to all the players who probably deserved to win it and didn't in the past decade, including Xavi, Andrei Iniesta, and Wesley Snyder among others. 2018-21, Second Time Champion of Spain The arrival of new manager Yulan Loptegui in August 2018 saw Modric given a steady return to the first team as a substitute due to his lack of preseason training after the 2018 World Cup. This included a substitute appearance in his team's 2-4 loss after extra time against Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Super Cup. His first start of the season came on 1 September in a 4-1 home win against Leganes, in which he assisted his side's third goal, scored by Karim Benzema. His 100th appearance in the UEFA club competition came on 19 September in a 3-0 home win against Roma, in which he assisted the second goal, scored by Gareth Bale. On 22nd of December, Modric won his third FIFA Club World Cup, scoring the first goal and assisting for the third in the final against Al Ain. On 13 in January 19, 2019, Modric for the first time scored in two consecutive league games for Real Madrid, in a 1-2 away win against Real Betis and 2-0 home win against Sevilla. In the same month was included in the UEFA Team of the Year, 2018, for the third time in his career. From 27 February to 5th of March, Modric went through what he described as the most difficult week of his football life, with Real Madrid losing to Barcelona twice and Ajax and crashing out of Copa del Rey, title race in the Champions League, respectively. 
despite having had an underwhelming season, for the fifth consecutive time he was included in the FIFA 5th Pro World XI. On August 27, 2019 was the seventh anniversary of Modrita signing with the club. Although raising doubts due to age of 34 and decision to continue playing with the national team which makes him prone to injuries, Modric stated that wants to recapture his best form this season. His first goal of the season came on 5th of October in a 4-2 home victory against Granada. On 12th of November was awarded with a Golden Foot Award. On 23rd of November he made two assists and scored a goal in a 3-1 home victory against Real Sociedad. On January 8, 2020, Modric with Trivela scored his fifth goal of the season and 100th career goal in a 3-1 victory against Valencia in the semi-finals of 2019-20 Supercopa de España. On 12th of January he successfully converted a penalty in a shootout as Real Madrid beat Atletico 4-1 on penalties in the final. Following the continuation of La Liga after a three-month suspension due to COVID-19 pandemic, Modric was praised for being one of Real Madrid's best players despite his age, resulting in numerous media outlets wondering about prolongation of his contract with the club. On 16th of July, he assisted Benzema's opening goal in a 2-1 victory over Villarreal, as Real Madrid secured the league title. On October 21st, 2020, he scored his first goal of the 2020-21 season in a Champions League 3-2 defeat to Shakhtar Donetsk. The goal made him the fourth player in the history of the club to score in the competition age 35 or more, alongside Alfredo Di Stefano, Ferenc Puskas, and Francisco Hinto. It was named the goal of the week by UEFA. Three days later, he came off the bench to score with Trivela his first ever Clasico goal, as Real Madrid defeated Barcelona 3-1. On May 25, 2021, he extended his contract with Real Madrid until 2022. On October 24, 2021 of 2021-22 season, Modric played his 400th game for Real Madrid in a 2-1 Clasico victory. On 30th of October, Modric captained Real Madrid for the first time and assisted for the winning goal, after Marcelo had given him the armband upon being substituted off in the 2-1 victory over Elche. On December 7, 2021, he played his 100th Champions League game and was named Man of the Match in a 2-0 victory over Inter Milan. On January 16, 2022, he scored the first goal in the 2022 Supercopa de España final and was named Man of the Match as Real Madrid defeated Athletic Bilbao 2-0. The goal made him the oldest goal scorer in the history of the competition. On 5th of March, Modric assisted and scored from outside of the box in a 4-1 victory over Real Sociedad. On 6 and 12th of April, Modric assisted in both legs of Champions League quarterfinals 5-4 aggregate victory against Chelsea. Praise for attacking and defensive performances in both games, because of a long-range Trivela assist for Rodrigo and the crucial moment of the second leg was named Man of the Match as well as Voda Player of the Week by UEFA. He was a regular starter on 30th of April when Real Madrid won their 35th in his third Spanish title, on 4th of May when Real Madrid won an extra time in the second leg against Manchester City, and on 28th of May when he won his fifth title in the final of Champions League. For the sixth time in his career, he was included in the UEFA Champions League squad of the season. On June 8, 2022, he renewed his contract until 2023. On August 20, 2022, Modric landed his first goal and assisted the season in a 4-1 away victory over Celta Vigo in a La Liga fixture. On 6 September he scored in his first Champions League game of the season in a 3-0 away victory against Celtic becoming the 8th Real Madrid player with 100 appearances in the competition. On 11th of September, he became the 3rd Real Madrid player after Puskas and Francisco Buyo to play 100 games while over 35 years of age. In February 2023, Modric was included for the 6th time in the FIFA 5th Pro World XI. On 6th of May, he played as a second half substitute in a 2-1 win over Asasuna in the Copa del Rey final to achieve his second trophy in that tournament. In June, he extended his contract until 2024. On 28th of October, he played his 500th match for Real Madrid in all competitions in a 2-1 away win against Barcelona.